Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be mixing up hyaluronidase to dissolve lip filler. If you ever need to mix it up for a vascular occlusion or if you need to mix it up for elective dissolving, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now to start off, you're only going to need four things. You're going to need a 2ml syringe with a 23 gauge needle. So 2ml syringe like this with a blue needle on the end, 23 gauge. You're going to need a Botox needle or an insulin needle. You can use a 1ml syringe with a 30 gauge needle as well. I just prefer to use Botox needles because they're easier to use. They're 30 gauge anyway. So if you're doing Botox, you might as well use a Botox needle to inject it with. You're going to need your 1500 units of hyaluronidase or hyalase, if you prefer to call it. And you're going to need your choice of mixing water, such as Torbac, sodium chloride, um, or bacteriostatic solution. So let's get started. You have your Torbac, you have your hyaluronidase, your insulin needle, and you have your 2ml syringe with your 23 gauge needle here. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your hyaluronidase, which looks like this. You can see on here you have a small white dot. That is where you put the pressure. So the white dot is where you'll put your thumb and you'll snap it away from you. I like to use a bit of tissue or a baby wipe or something just so that if it does smash, I mean, these are plastic, but these are glass. If it smashes, you don't want to cut yourself. So just be careful. So I wrap over the days, snap it away, and you've got your opened syringe, uh, opened bottle there. You're going to do exactly the same with your bacteriostatic solution or your tour back like this. This is a five mil bottle. In case of an emergency, I use a one mil. If I'm doing elective dissolving, I will mix it with two mil. So a five mil ampule is more than enough. So again, I'm just gonna place my thumb where the dot is, like this, and I'm just gonna snap away and it's a clean break, okay? So you have that open there. Next, you're going to open your two mil syringe as so. If it comes separately, you can just get the syringe Sometimes you can buy the syringe and the needle separate. I like to buy them together because it's just easy. So you've got your syringe here and you've got your insulin needle. Now, in case of an emergency, what you would do is you'd break open your hyaluronidase and you'd break open your Torbac. You would then take one mil out of the Torbac and you would draw it up as so. That is around one mil there. You're then going to pop it into your hyaluronidase vial and you're just going to inject it. So if you're injecting a two mil solution, you're not going to fit one mil solution in this ampule here. So what I would do is I would inject one mil in here as I have done. And then I would draw up another one mil solution as so. I then would inject a little bit like this and then what you're going to do is you're going to pull back and forward and you're just going to keep mixing the solution in your syringe so you're just going to pump it back once it's full draw it back again and then you will have your solution all mixed up and ready to go okay if you are going to inject two mil, it's probably easier to draw the whole lot up in here, swap this needle over for a 30 gauge, and then you can use this to inject with. Because I only inject with a one mil solution, what I would then do is I have it mixed up in here. I would then go to my insulin needle. I would draw up what I would need. For instance, a one mil or a 0.5, these are 0.5, so you can do it in 0.5s, and that is your solution ready to inject. Please make sure you're always patch testing, even in an emergency, because someone could go into anaphylactic shock if you do not patch test them. The way I patch test is I will draw up 
10 units with a Botox needle or an insulin needle, as so, like this. I would then sterilise the arm here, pop the needle in, and I would inject 10 units into the arm here. I would then draw up exactly the same amount of your Torbac or your bacteriostatic solution, whatever you've mixed this with, and I would inject that next to it here. So you have your solution over here of hyaluronidase and your solution here of bacteriostatic. I would then circle where we have injected and I would leave it 30 minutes and check that they look the same. If the hyaluronidase is raised where it looks like you've been stung by a bee or a wasp or a stinging nettle, you cannot have it. Any erythema, redness is completely normal with patch testing because you put a needle in, so you're more than likely going to have redness or bruising. So it's only if the area is raised, itchy, your client then feels unwell and it's raised as a bump, it is a no-go. So that's it for the video today, guys, on dissolving, keeping it nice, easy and simple for you. Don't forget to comment if you've got any questions for me. Subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. See you soon.